What if I told you there's an engine so tough, it was banned from truck racing because it simply wouldn't die? Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Caterpillar 3408, the diesel beast born in the 1970s that helped shape industries, conquer continents, and stir up a little controversy along the way. Fair warning, if you're emotionally attached to Cummins or Detroit Diesel, you might want to grab a tissue. Things are about to get loud. Continues. The Origin Story Introduced in 1973, the Cat 3408 was Caterpillar's answer to a growing demand for raw, unstoppable horsepower. This V8 diesel engine came in like a lion, boasting 18 liters of displacement and a reputation for brute force. It was built for applications where failure wasn't an option, mining, marine, power generation, and over-the-road trucking. With up to 550 horsepower and a torque curve that felt more like a cliff than a hill, this wasn't just another engine. It was a mechanical flex, a middle finger to the idea that engines had to be efficient before they were unstoppable. Deep dive into the engine. Let's open the hood, metaphorically, unless you've got a forklift handy. Ever wonder what it feels like to drop 2,900 pounds of cast iron fury into a truck? Because that's what the 3,408 weighs. About the same as a compact car. Internally, the 3,408 featured direct injection, turbocharging on select models, and massive cylinder heads that were individually serviceable. Why does that matter? Because in remote job sites, being able to fix one cylinder without tearing the whole block apart is the difference between downtime and payday. This engine didn't sip fuel. It drank it. And if you're thinking, that's not very environmentally friendly, you're right. The EPA and fuel efficiency weren't even invited to the party back then. Legend versus reality. But not everyone was a fan. The 3,408 gained a reputation, legendary to some, frustrating to others. One driver reportedly said, this engine doesn't purr. It growls like it's mad at the road. Another called it the best mistake he ever made. So, what gives? Why did Caterpillar eventually pull the 3408 from on-road applications in the late 80s? Continues, controversy and exit. The answer lies in changing emissions laws, skyrocketing fuel prices, and a brutal learning curve for mechanics unfamiliar with V8 diesels. Reliability wasn't the issue, but running a 3408 meant you had to know it and respect it. Caterpillar pivoted, focusing instead on inline six platforms like the 3406, more efficient, easier to maintain, and compliant with tightening regulations. But for some, it felt like the end of an era. Legacy, modern use, cliffhanger. Here's the twist. The 3408 didn't die. It just went underground, or offshore, or 300 feet up a drilling rig. Today, 3,408 still power boats in the Gulf, crush rock in quarries, and keep remote mines alive where downtime costs six figures an hour. Parts are still available, rebuilds are still happening, and some gearheads even swap them into custom rigs. Because why not put a battleship engine in your pickup? And here's something you don't hear every day. In certain circles, the 3,408 is now gaining collector status. Wait until you hear what one of these sold for at auction last year. Conclusion. Wrap with urgency and CTA. The Caterpillar 3408 wasn't just an engine. It was a message. Overbuild it, overtest it, and let it roar. So the next time someone says, they don't make them like they used to, just nod and whisper 3408. If this engine had a Tinder profile, it would just say, 6 miles per gallon, 550 horsepower, will outlive your grandkids. Smash that like button if you're a sucker for raw power, and drop a comment below. Have you ever heard one of these beasts in person? And don't go far. In our next video, we're diving into the one Caterpillar engine that almost replaced the 3408, but didn't. You won't believe why.